Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut. And today we're going to take a look at the horror anthology film that's out on video on demand. I believe it's going to hit the theaters October 6th. And that movie is called VH. Yes, yes, VHS, Found Footage Horror Anthology. Now, we get the uh, wraparound story, if you will, the story that kind of loosely explains why we're seeing these other short uh, films, and it's a group of guys that go to a house that are looking for a specific VHS tape. And we see them going through these tapes, and we see the video on the tapes, and that's where the other stories come in. We get a story of a group of guys who are out on the town, they decide to try to pick up a girl and bring her home, and they get a lot more than they bargain for with her. Man, the girl in that one was just creepy. The second story is a story about a couple on a second honeymoon, and that one was a little bit slower, but it did pack a wallop, and a surprise at the end I did not see coming. Third film in this anthology is a group of kids out in the woods. Now, you think you may have heard this story before, but they put a nice little twist into it. They justify, too, the reason why the character in there is using the camera, and they really got uh, just a great, interesting little take on the whole slasher in the woods story. Final story is a four group of guys go to a house. They're thinking they're going to a Halloween party. It's an empty house that's got a lot of creepy shit happening in it, and it is a house that they regret going to. To. Folks, I'm going to go on record now and say this, that VHS, it's a found footage film that the movie man likes. Don't have a heart attack and maybe it's because it's the blue moon. They say once in a blue moon something happens and in this case it's VHS for me. It's a found footage film I actually enjoyed. I, I loved each short film that was displayed in here, a short story, if you will, in the anthology, okay? Each one had some great practical gore effects to it, had a story that you thought was going to be cliche and didn't end up being that way, and there's some great performances, some authentic performances. You don't get a lot of you know, a lot of times in these found footage, people try too much to be normal, and not in this case. Everyone in this really seemed to act natural, had a reason for having the cameras, and just, I loved that in general. It didn't feel forced or too cheesy at any point, okay? Like you said, and it was great practical gore effects. Practical gore effects, beautiful to see in today's digital age. I loved that bit of it. I loved the directing. In fact, one of these short stories is directed by Ty West. Uh, you know, you had one in there. Oh, I forgot. There's another story in there about a kind of got this paranormal thing going where this girl is haunted uh, by in her apartment. And we see footage of video clips of her video uh, conferencing or video talking with her boyfriend across her laptop or iPad or some kind of device. Anyway, uh, and so we see short clips of that, and that story was really interesting and different. Didn't go where I thought it would, and I'm glad it did because it surprised me, and I love being surprised by a film, and VHS has some of that. Surprises that'll make you jump, brings the creepy, got the gore, even some humor, and some gratuitous TNA in there in certain spots as well. Everything you're looking for in a decent horror film is in this found footage film, which I never thought I'd find my myself sane. But the only thing I didn't care for was the wraparound story. The justification that some of these videos were on VHS tape uh, never, you know, really kind of bought into it because a lot of these were shot with digital devices or whatnot. You know, modern devices still on VHS never quite caught that. Maybe that was kind of, you know, the mystery part of it that they wanted to add, but the wraparound story is probably the weakest point of it, and the justification of why some of these digital videos were on VHS was never really established, and it took a little bit, but not away from uh, it completely for me. Given it, don't don't have a heart attack, four and a half stubs for VHS, a found footage film that I really enjoyed, folks. Surprised the heck out of me, and I think it'll surprise you too that there is found footage horror films out there that can be scary, not cheesy, and be very enjoyable for everyone, including myself. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.